Yeah, when, 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 when times are tough, sometimes love cannot be felt and it looks like it's a big right. <laughs> Some of us might even have walked in here and not a good time. So you hold it there, but you feel like Why am I even holding it But this is a gesture of love. Preface course and tell God that everything that will take place here, that they will be touched, that they will be transformed, and we tell God that I would like them to love me more. So let them absorb everything that will happen and be transformed. If, if you get me a lot of good times, first apologize to each other and forgive, tell them and forgive you for the wrong view. Let's pray for them so that the world who has the world right now won't find perfect soil.
Sorry? Kandi <laughs> Ah, eh, kandi, Aha, Jeho hara kano yango reye, yango re surprise irandenga, kwa de tinze yiga ari UK, so aram gira turafuga na visanzwe kuri telefoni, aram gango ejo fiti chizami na gonza abone kama jitond, koko bundi kwa fuga na gaku kuri telefoni mjitond, aram gango nima mchizami au call you, so. Ndategereza ni ya mamagara Zaguha magara telefoni itariho Ariko aranya ndichira Aguha au call you Ariko <laughs> Mugoro wanarifti na ama Mushitu wanjarama magara Amgira warete Tuga hule hano kwa hali chunushaka kufa Kuo ufasha Amgira amgira hano ya naro mushitu wanje Njayo vamuna mani uta Kukonu vaga wazasi mbasefu Yunga na waiji Njayo njeze yo tulichara tulaganira Tuchivuga gudiki mbona laaji. Rubio surprise mbona mazi imyaka adahari ukajya kubona waje na stress niki ukabona araje. So Mukomere mukomere James muno cyane cyane cyane. Wow wow. Ni bintu byiza cyane. People people went over the seas. Eh? Wow. They over the seas and the oceans. James are coming to you eh? We're coming to you shortly. So <laughs> But, but that is that is his, his name called so it's called James. <coughs> so abantu bacye juri inyanja ba eh kubera urukundo harya ari ari ndimo cy'Rwanda bageze barimba ngo bakanye n'isi zingo nacyo nabonye mu buzima cyandu ti urukundo we ari n'indi ivuga yangu yiwacu kurwese ro rukanje ni wanyu kumunini ah and then there was another one ivuga ngo niye mbaye kanyo ni nka ngasimbwa nkagera yo so James wera birangije aha any other person? So now we are One of the reasons why we have this dinner once a year. Now go even more. Now go even more. We only have it once a year, where we come as couples. The other ones uh, just gatherings. So we come together to just have this kind of fun. See you. Candy, you can imagine when people are sharing. Hari isomu vana mo changa icho week. Hari kwe tse ni jo njibjo bira bira shimishyo kumva ingiro sandu kanye na stira no akureshi. Wengo wache mundeje awandi muri bisi. Aromazi, aromazi, <laughs> yeah. 
Ya, we can be creative. We can be creative. We go stay. If you know, be the hardy. If you surprise, be the hardy. We can to get to come. We can see you move around to get. We can go and 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 we can yeah, le verbe aimer. Je t'aime, je t'aime, je t'aime. Je t'aime très fort, je t'aime. Voilà, vas-y, vous conjuguez ma verbe. Kabisa, je t'aime de hatar. So, je suis un peu plus de temps. 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 Je suis un peu plus <laughs> let, let, let me tell you how I met Charles, my husband. Just a minute. Umo gawe mwe samura muzi. Mwe samura muzi. Na na mwe kubo kumurevi. Hey. Okay, okay. So she's going to tell us how they met. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, Charles, you want to know my name? Is it Charles? Charles, you want to know my name? Charles, you want to know my sister? Uruguay, no, no, not with Quarano. Generally, wound it to Motra Senga to Amagarumago. He's in a guest from Amagas to Mamagas to Mamagas. Charles is normally a very good person, so he used to, he used to, he used to visit my sister, and I was in Burundi, so and we were somewhere praying, calling, calling upon a very, you know, noble man. No, no, how come Beba, Mamma gave Ambus and I do my singing, and when the Amagaru take a candy take a young Susan Mukun. So they, so, so they, 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 they were calling her. And they were calling me, and my phone was off. Yet I was calling, you know, I was praying to God for a man, and, and the man was already in the neighborhood. Uh, yeah, so I called my sister t telling her that um, I was praying when you called, when, you, when I missed your call. Yeah, and then how I tell him, get your peace. I know how to move. Ushaka kuku fugisha. It was Charles. Kuko Charles Mary Muzi. It was 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 Charles Mary Muzi. Yeah, so the sister told her that there's someone here that wants to see you. They're called Charles. But I knew Charles from school, from campus. But I, I used to see him whenever he passed by. I could not tell that he didn't pass by. I, I couldn't notice him out of the many guys. Yeah, Charles, you know, 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 you He used to be the type of guy that puts on, you know, pants and shirts with a pen. You know, looks like a professor. <laughs> <laughs> You know, let me interrupt a bit. <laughs> I think Charles is going to achieve. He's going to achieve a lot in life. He's a go-getter. So he called and said, "Hi, can we can we meet someone? You know, um, recommended you, referred me to you. Straightforward, no corners." Huh? <laughs> Yeah, so the people that were with him just told him that it's a done deal, she's going to reject you because that approach can't work in peace. And then Charles told her that 
Yeah, in the meantime, there was another man that had asked for my hand in marriage, and and but he was he was he was a typical liar, so uh, he seemed not to know what he wanted, and I wasn't comfortable with that type of character. No, no, Charles, I'm a magai, young Mozehu. The Afghani, Muri no siaba zima. How about what you wish you could do? Yes, so when when Charles called, I was very I was very touched because I was like. I didn't know there are people that are straight and that is truthful in this day and age. That's it. That was his ticket. Yeah, knowing that there are people that still speak the truth and are straight to the point. We know without telling you. <laughs> <lies. laughs> yeah, so I've met so many guys who, who talk about rain falling and my, they had, they had, you know, bump, you know, bumping and everything. So uh, I, I was, I was comfortable with his approach and who he was as a person. I couldn't have a but I, but I told him that uh, he's, he's still in debt. He owes me some good, uh, let me use the good vibing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's going to take note of the debt and he make sure he pays. Yeah. yeah, so to I don't know what to do. 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 I do Mbaho muri byanjye none ho rimwe ndi ku university nje gutere tumukobwa mwiza narebaga wari ufite amaguru meza ninzara nziza burya yago mu nzara nziza afite afite namano meza so ubwo rero ngiye kumureba mukobwa arambira ati ati na kibazo Ati nguri chijuku nu mbandewa umeze za ukusubiza. Misao. Jago na mpona meza tataranji. Tawa sebe jago subiza viza jena viti. Nene ho na jimu uke. Giwa chuturi ya hano vita nya gashanga. Na hindi kumwe na. Na hindi kumwe na 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 Steven ni anko watu na go. Na go hari njira go. Jiva siniwe wa muku gira neza. Na mugi nariku lero. Muraba wako uga bara hanga habosu. Ndaza gushaka mu mukobwa ngira maho ndavanga aha namubonye ati se ati ukomeza na kibazo none ho ndabanza nirebera hano hari aba abakobwa beza bari mu basavinga ndiye kufona mbona ndahagarara ndabanza ndeba ikibuno kirangira hanga Hey, 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 hey. Get up with Hey, hey, hey. No, you ain't there, No, you ain't there, Jay. They were in the chin. This is the talk. Hey, hey, hey. The ones on the Coramon, Batuzani Kafanta, now we are made of Kafanta, now Kumana Fanta, Damut. You know, Chinzu Vision, Bokonin is amazing, you conquer 
maze kumva ibyo ngibyo ndongera ndabanira kanchunjo hakandi kandi kanchunjo hakandi kandi nje kureba niba uru rwara atara rutemeye mu mutwe yararuhabuye nimsanga yararuhabuye biramira neza urumva hari ukuntu umuntu atemera urwara mu mutwe ukarureka rukava yo namajigo yarwo kazarucamo kabiri era nibara nibara eh ubwo maze kubona ibyo ngibyo birangiye ndavuga ni igisigaye rero ni kimwe usibye ko usibye ko tutu ari 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 bya bantu barimo ubundi umuntu wanweye mukaru iragenda kanweka kangiza yaratarangwa mukaru rero yarari mu gyirabura yaratuka mukaru hazi eh eh mukaru murayizi ze na umuntu w'ikigaru tazi mukaru nange sigaye inyumwa byararangi yaratarangwa rero mukaru mbonye bimeze neza ndavuga ngo reka nkomereza aho ngaho eh none ubwo nibyo mvayo turavugana noneho ibara hantu byaje kubera umukobwa narebagana na nashimye narebaga ya Paris ubwa mbere mubwine harya usengera he ati ni kuri harya ni right shining shining right ndabane ni byiza rwose ndi kora ndagenda njya yo nsanga yo naba pastors beza cyane nakunze noneho turasuzanya ndigende undi munsi mpamagaye ni duhurire ati mu muki mu muki hehe atari kwa rubangura hano haruguru gutya ara haruri mudusanye kwa rubangura none se kwa rubangura niho muba atoya ati ni mu muki ho ngaho ari kutaraza kwa burira ni ugaruka hehe ati hano mu muki ariko se naguhaze na kibazo ariko giye bwo nenda kumenya ngo niba ari mu size zituruka za nyamirambo nsezere Eh kuko ya yabaye nyamirambo urumva bya bari video So ndagije rero turahura nyine turakomeza dusanga ni miryango nyine turahuza nuko ndangije ndamutereta aranyemerera ndamushaka baramunshingira ni ibyo nuko byageze Hakoze cyane mukomere mashi Ado I still you so Ya so turabashimira cyane Rashima na vedaste kuduha kumenya 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 ko bageze hanga ndabizi ko dufite abashitsi baje bwa mbere hari abaje bwa mbere twanabakiriye we very well know that we have some first time visitors here nako turabakira reka turebe abashitsi bari hagati muri twebwe muje bwa mbere hanga Let's take the opportunity to see the first time couple of visitors here today. Please raise your hand. Mwana haguruka tukabareba. Mwagurukane n'abadamu banyu turarebe neza. Please raise on your feet. Warm welcome. Thank you so much. Murakoze cyane mwicarire. Tubahaye ikaze turabishimiye. Mwakoze guhitamo kubana natwe mugoroba. We are very excited to have you. Thank you for choosing wisely to be with us this evening. Uh, nabadaherutse mwese abo tutaherukanaga tubahaye ikaze mwese. And those that we hadn't seen in quite a time, we are also saying you're welcome and feel at home. Turana bishimishye. And we're very excited to see you and to have you. Reba ku ruhande urebe mugenzi wawe. Look at your neighbor. Hello, mutarakaye. Eh? Mubwira uti turi mu materaniro y'abashakanye. Oh, harabari bonyile. Mubwira uti hano hari abagore n'abagabo gusa. Tell that person that we are ladies and we are husbands and wives here. No kids, look at me. Properly. Husband and wife. <laughs> okay, those who are shy, our fit is on in our three more One more time. Okay. Um Harijikorba do Shaka Gukora, Jihuse. 
So there's an activity we are going to do quickly. Hano Muri Potter's Hand Church. Here in the Potter's Hand Church. To the ministry Yakapos. So we are requesting a very more kuga nirahija to give attention. Abaga nirahaliruya. Okay. A very more kuga nir. Ah. Araba tuzi, araba tatuzi, araba shiti, araba dehirut. Turenda kubibu tango, tukuitwa hano Potter's Hand Church. Yes, we want to remind each one of you that this place is the Potter's Hand Church. Tujatuna bugangoni, PHM, Potter's Hand Ministries. So tuhita, pa, ma, na, 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 ma, okay, pa, ha, ma. So to a high cousin with PHM. So you're welcome in PH in Pahama. So Muri Torre Rorero to Jira Ministry of Ashakan. In this church, we have the couple's ministry. Ministry of Ashakan, Nukuvu Gabagurena Vagabo, to Jira Amatsinda, Twitter accountability groups. So in this church, we have the couple's ministry that has accountability groups. And those accountability groups are nine. So the, the nine groups are the, the, the uh, fruits of the Spirit. Do you remember some? Yes. yes. There is peace. Uh -huh. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Peace. Goodness. Goodness. Number three. Patience. Joy. Joy. Uh -huh. Love. 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 Eh? Kindness. Eh? Self -control. Self -control. Patience. Faithfulness. 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 That have similar names to the nine uh, fruits of the Spirit in the Bible. Aba Kristo muri litorero ba shakanye bose tuje na tuwa shiramura imati na matoya. So every couple member in PHM is put into those accountability groups. Buriti nda arugo tuwa duftemo ngama kupla ta nuchangwa tanda tu. So in each group, there is a time where we have like six to seven groups in that particular group, couples. Aho, bajiri bihebja abuja matinda matoya. Yeah, where they have a good time in their small groups. Harimbaraga mu matinda mato. There is power in small groups. Murawa nukotu ungana dulcha turibesh. We are very many here. Na abu kwa abu kwa tuwe seno na huyumusu na abu kwa tuwe seturi wubuji. Everyone can't get a chance to speak to them. Na abu kwa abu kwa abu kwa yeah. But when in small groups, everyone has a chance to speak and share. We speak of the good. We share the word of God. We encourage each other. We celebrate each other's birthdays. Uh, marriage anniversaries and birthdays <laughs> and so many other things. Yes. 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 So in those nine groups, Nashaka Kurevavanu, Bafite, Ayomatsin, the Babaris Gamra, Matsin, the Ahanga have a Zamurichigan. So we would like to see people raise their hands that are in those groups. Mabone? Perfect. Okay, Mumanuri. Abadafta, Matsin, the Bazamurichigan, no Gabu Mushina. So those that are not yet in a group, please raise your hands. Okay, Brakozachan. Thank you very much. So some people haven't gotten uh, their groups. In those, there are new groups amongst us, or amidst us. 
Ama couple masia. So those new group, uh, the, the new couples. Harina abona bonye baza muri biganza ko batarabona accountability group. We've seen some raise their hands that they haven't gotten groups. Umuco wacu hano iyo umusore numukobwa bakoze ubukwe bakaza mu rusengero turabakira muri ministeri yabashakanye. So our culture in this church is that every new couple uh, that has joined the couple's ministry uh, gets celebrated. So, Gorero, tujie kwa chira ama kuple masya yaje yako zubukwe vuba hanga ha vuba hanga ha. Murabju mbaleza. So we are going to welcome the new couples amidst us and celebrate them. Murabju hanga na kukonu mucho watu kukora kwa chira ama kuple masya. It's our culture, and we love and enjoy doing that. Turikumwe. Kwa jira ngoreo tusawa badu fasha, bijire hafi. Hanyima, kuple dusoma, baraza kutenina hamge hano. Kwa jire, awapasteri, baazi badu herima hano. Kwa wajene ye, tuwa jire, reintegrate inge muri, muri, muri couples. No mwanya muri accountability groups. Yes. So for the new couples that you are going to be reading, we request you to be moving forward and our pastors that are here are going to be coming in to give us gifts. And the first couple, please celebrate them. Avenshi Bamaze less than Aya Bashakanye. So Avenshi Bamaze Musi Yumga Kabashakanye to be shimit. Yeah. So Kuple Ambere ni Klema and Gela. Barahari. Welcome. Kwa tisawe, awa pasta Bewo, na madamu we, baaze hano. Eh, bago mba kujerano, tichi wa kumera mashi. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Yes. Amazing. How do you manage that guy? Oh, four months married. Derek Namutoni, Baba Vegera. The next couple is very good. Guma Hanu. Tan tan tan. Okay. Mujebi fotoza Moses and Jane. Where we tunganya? Why they take a picture? Moses and Jane, be ready. Moses and Jane, Barahari. Nungo Havaru Mutkware, Uwe Nine, Changwa Zema. Okay, next couple. Gashema and Hosean. Karibu. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Great. Roger Namonik. Arabahari. Mumazi Jeching, Ani Chiharja. So they have been married for one, one year, seven months. They are close to two years. Roger Namonik in Havahari. Roger Namonik. Tukui Butseko, but be excuse. Okay. Now. Okay. The Katushimira Wakosu Bimana. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Tan, 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 tan. Woo! So, Mazuji, Chinganichi, Mukosu, Bukwe, Veneda. Rabi Shimi, Akanda, Akata. 
Eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Oh. Bama munani bako zukwe. Nabo baba he ifoto ya abo. Kamera manda la bareba. Okay, thank you so much. Harabandi, uh, So there are other couples that we really want to appreciate. Uh, so, I am Matsinda, Ubundi, Amara, Imyakiri, Afita Bayos. You may Yakabiri to Konya to Gaturabandi by Bozi, Navan Vagatombra, Amagru, Mashash. So usually these uh, accountability groups uh, go to a period of two years and then we do a, a new selection or we do a reshuffle kind of and then we choose more, uh, we choose different groups. So yeah. today we are going to have new groups. So we mostly to the groups in Shasha. Forget the past. And look up to the future. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and we are also going to have some new leaders. Are you excited for the new leaders? But we are also going to appreciate some of those who have been leaders of the small groups for the couples. Should we appreciate them? To ashime. They did a great job. Let's have. Uh, um, Okay, Fidel, Fidel na Jenny. Fidel na Jenny. Oh, say what? What you are reading? Did you cost you are reading? Did I turn, turn, turn? Hey, okay. What you are doing, Mango? Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Hey. Woo. Thank you very much. They have much. been uh, leading one of the small groups. And thank you very much for uh, leading the small group. As, as you take that picture, just know that we appreciate you. And please come back again. This is not politics. <laughs> this is the work of God. Until she's here. Tan, tan, tan. Tan, tan, tan. Tan, tan, So, of course, when uh, some of the leaders are appreciated and they are no longer going to lead some of the small groups, there are different reasons. Yeah. I cannot exhaust all the reasons. But some of the reasons are when, for example, a husband uh, goes to work somewhere out of the country and the wife stays, or the wife goes out and the husband stays, it's not easy. And many others. Next couple. So kapo yindi ni Emma Mugabo na Susan. So thank you so much. Let's appreciate them once more. As I said, we have nine fruits of the spirit. Uh, and uh, so nine groups. So and we are going to have nine couples that are going to lead 
nine groups. Tujye kugira ama couple ichenda ayobora izo groups ichenda. And um, yes, yes, yes. You can pick it. Ah, abata bivonye, mwa bivonye. Imani shimwe shani. Praise the Lord. Okay, tujye kwa chira ba yobozi. We are going to have nine couples join us here on the stage. Tujye kujira couple ichenda zizimbere. Abasha kanye ichenda. We are going kuzana. to have nine couples come in front here. Uh, couple yambere. The first couple. Uh, ni Pamela Nagatete. Pamela Nagatete. Let's go. Tan, tan, tan. Hey, tan, tan, tan. Tan, tan, tan. Tan. Aha. Eh, hey. Aha. Yes. Couple ya kabiri. Super. The second couple. Uh, ni Dr. Chiza na peace. Dr. Chiza in peace. Tan tan tan. Tan tan tan. Tan tan tan. Hey. Couple ya katatu. Alex Mutware na Clemi. The third couple. Alex Mutware and Clemi. Tan tan tan, tan tan tan. Ari kunda shaka na mwe kumu fasha. Super. Kuple ni Emar Guagasana na Clarice. Emar Guagasana and Clarice. Hey, hey, ha. Who play in the uh, uh, can you guess? You don't want to guess? Eh? Yeah? You guess. Oh okay. Group in the group leaders Vandi, ni family machumu Joseph and Angel. Tan tan tan. Tan tan tan, tan tan tan. Mufa shechani. Hey. Aha. 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 Mhm. Aha. Super. Okay. Ah, ili kuple ni Mark na Grace. Yes. Aha. Tan tan tan. Oh, mutaza jamu vujira neza tuje tu mutiiza yo agaruke mumu vujira. Sijo, koko tu kavuze kwa we need to celebrate them, right? Okay. Sabo. Uh uh. Hey, harabu la banga. Babidi. Eh? Arabura kapo zinga. Asia tu. Okay. Very good. Ah, kapo yindi ni promise na ilaija. Yes. Oh. Aha. 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 Mhm. Mhm. Okay. Izindi kuple harabu lebziri. Izindi kuple lebziri na hako ziri kumwe natuwe. Kuple imwe ya jizibja hako na hako wabashire kubana natuwe. Kuple hii ndi na waba jize imijisha hii ndi mnyishi, hariko nishi ngano nyishi, nivi ndi pijenshi. Hariko tuza hobati. Yeah, so the other two group leaders, you'll get to know them. One was taken into different work assignments and other blessings. Then the other uh, couple had uh, some problems, but we'll, you'll get to know them. Is a couple ni Honorable Jean Claude na Mwami Kazi Esther. So the first group is Honorable Claude and their wife Esther, or Queen Esther. 
Sorry. In the group, uh, in the couple, ni, uh, Diane Narola. The other group is Diane and Loha. Yeah, so for those two couples that are not present, we will request the two pastors uh, to, to come and uh, choose the members for them. Pastor Saint and Madame and Pastor Deo and Madame. But we will request you to stay seated for now and you will come to choose. His wife is going to be here in uh, some few minutes. She, she has been at school. Sorry. So to conclude on this particular uh, activity, they are going to select the name of the group they are going to lead. Remember the fruits of the Spirit names. Peace. So, peace is a Peace is a good one. 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 Peace <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. Ninde, Nindu Kurichiro. Maraviziko Emma Rumu, no Munyamahoro no Mudamu. Eh. Okay. Okay, who? Who next? Angel. Huh? Angel, okay. <laughs> Next. Mark. <laughs> Gentleness. <laughs> oh, na madame we are Yes. <laughs> No, I say, I swear to Mukoreka Kandi. Chant to come Mukore again. Okay. Okay. How are you? Promise. Eh. I'll go to Mutora and never damn Mugusara. Never again, Danesa. Nice. Never Mutima Urugo. Yes. Peshe. Super. Okay. Very good. Next. Oh, next, go palm. <laughs> Self control. Self -control. Yes. Okay. Claim me. Claim me. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Very good. Perfect. Today, Honorable Claude. Esther. Goodness. Love. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Abana ba yobozi ba diye kuyobora ya matsi nda ichenda yitranwa nimbuto zomoka.
So these are the nine leaders that are going to lead the nine accountability groups that are named after the fruits of the Spirit. So let's appreciate them as they go back to their seats. Okay, to put it a grass, tan, 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 okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Mari Muziko. Mari Muziko. Murebe Hano Mues. Did you know? Mari Muziko Pastor Antoine Did you know that Pastor Antoine is here? Pastor, we are very excited to have you. And we love you so much with a beautiful wife. So we are not the ones that are going to introduce uh, Pastor Antoine Rutaisire. Uh, the servants of God are going to welcome him. So that we, we, we listen and learn and uh, you know, hear from him the word of God that he has put on his heart. Growing in love despite changing seasons. Uh, Let's request Innocent to come close and Emma. So worship team ya Jose Hano. Tujia kuri ni bindi ni bimwe. Rosette na Derek. Ah nyuma nyuma yindi ni bimwe pasta Jimmy Muyango nu muda muwe baraza kuzano ba tukwa chini le pasta antwa na rita isire kuri kijambori jiman. We are going to sing one song together and uh, right after the pastors, Pastor Jimmy and Y and uh, the, his beautiful wife will join the stage to welcome the pastor for us tonight. Thank you. Bye. 
Yesu ashimye cyane Praise God Dushimye Imana kuko ibihe byose bitambutse We thank God for all these good times that we've just uh, had now Mwakoze kuza Thank you for coming Muri iyi kapoze dina ya mbere tugiriye kuri ritori The microphone is going to be able to hear you. Did you hear me? Yes, yes. 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 God bless our good leaders, peace and innocent. The ones who are leading the program. Naba yuzwa Kapos Ministry, Kohen na Madamu. And our leaders of the Kapos Ministry, Kohen and Diana over there. Ndetse naba yuzwa Matsi na Mukanya tumaze kuona batoye Matsi na Bazai wote. And all the leaders that you have seen of all the small accountability groups in the Kapos Ministry that you've just seen before you. Gihano uyungu yaka Madamu wanje. And I'm here, and this one also is who is my husband. Are you kidding me? Chan Hangaj, you are just introducing our new member, Runaka, and his beautiful wife. Aba Gawaba, I wish you were here with us. Are you for my beautiful wife anyway? Amen. Amen. So, how many reporters are in Kwabie? So here we are at Porter's Hand. Ah, to Kwabie, we have about 20 of them. And we see that there are a few that have just uh, come to fellowship here for the first time. Even us, we have not spent a lot of time here. We are still thanking God and we are still thanking God that he has led us here. And uh, the last Sunday was the second time that we fellowshiped in this building and tomorrow was our third time. <laughs> we had spent three years on Zoom and YouTube. And God had mercy on us. And he has enabled us to build, to be able to find a home and a place where we can sit and call home. For sure, to be able to be here and sit down, it's only by the grace of God. Of course, if you see that there is something that is not yet perfect, just know we are still finishing up, we are still building. <laughs> so, so if you feel led by the Holy Spirit to give something towards this work, feel free, no one is uh, rejected. 
uh, every Sunday we meet in the big hall downstairs. And tomorrow we will be here again. And when we meet, we usually have our two fellowships, our two services. The first service is in English. And the second service is in Kinyarwanda. And that's why we are translating. Kapo's ministry is a bilingual, is a Because even the Kapo's ministry will be a bilingual so, uh, ministry. There is no other reason. Because we will not have an English-speaking ministry, Kapo's ministry, and again another uh, Kinyarwanda-speaking Kapo's ministry. Maybe that's why you find that even our own leaders, you see, he speaks in Kinyarwanda and the wife translates in English. Maybe that was because God wanted us to support all so, these two ministries. And that's how we will continue. And when there will uh, come a time to now put people, uh, couples, into uh, our uh, accountability group, and you would like to participate, feel free to come and join. But join when you feel like you are being led to be part of this church. The reason why we meet as couples it's so that we can learn more and more on the word that can help us build our, our homes or our marriages. Because marriage was not an invention of a human being, a black human or a white man. Marriage was the work of God and God alone. So if you want to know how God wanted marriage to look like when he, in, when he created it, you look for the answers in the, in the word of God. And most of the problems that, fa that couples face today because people have lost and have, do not even know uh, or have an idea of the actual blueprints of what God wanted to do with marriage. When you build something that has not been approved by the city of Kigali, when they pass by your construction site, they will come and destroy it. Unplanned buildings. So there you go. we don't want to build a Kajagari. Even if you don't know in Rwanda, that word is easy. Say a Kajagari. <laughs> as simple as that. We don't wish to build such kind of uh, homes. We wish to build our own homes the way God intended them to be. And therefore, we don't want to build our homes imitating different cultures, in Indians or Americans, but we want to build our homes imitating what God actually intended and wants our home to look like. Don't you wish to have that? Don't you wish to study and learn about that? That's why every month in the Potter's Hand Church, the third uh, Sunday of every month is usually dedicated to the Kapoor. <laughs> Put that in your calendar, the third Sunday of every month. Just know that you will not spend your evenings elsewhere but in the Potter's Hand, in the Kapoor's ministry. And every time we always have very interesting topics to learn. Reverend Antoine, 
Reverend uh, Antoine is a very good friend of the Potter's Ham Church. <laughs> with his beautiful wife who is not here with us tonight. Uh, but for the remaining time that is there, let's all pay attention and listen to what God has put on in his heart. And his uh, translator, Amanda, who will come and join. So let's all okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Reverend Antoine, can you please come? Anzendewe, Bye. When I was writing my master's thesis, I was uh, studying linguistics. I told my uh, supervisor that I was going to uh, change my English and speak like an Englishman. And I'm going to go, eh, Why would you want to speak like an English person? Keep your Kinyarwanda accent. That will be a reminder. So, I'm not going to speak in English. I'm going to speak in Kinyarwanda. Uh, because I prepared in Kinyarwanda. But uh, I could easily shift to English without a problem. So, so, with you. So, uh, so the topic they gave me is in English. Growing in love despite changing seasons. Uh, it says uh, growing in love despite changing seasons. Gukura Murukundo no mobi heavy hindagurik. And uh, I think I've some children as a kind. Maybe I should stay there. Yes. Um, so let's go to Joshua, chapter 24. Uh, if you have an English Bible, I'm going to help you with Kinyarwanda. So I, I read in Kinyarwanda, you read in English. Okay. Joshua. Uh, Joshua chapter 24. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Uh -huh. So, Yoni Mimune, Yakaviri, once again, go for a summa much. Two in Jerusalem, some much in Rwanda. Muri Matthew chapter 7, Matayo Vichavidi in Gui. We are going to read Matthew chapter 7 from verse 24 to 28. 
Therefore, whoever hears, you can summon who is a cook. As a woman, you Verse 24 says, uh, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock, and the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did, it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. Mm -hmm. um, I see uh, another different preparation behind there. Somebody has been fasting for 40 days. And then they see something like uh, that. Try to be very brief. That's what I'm going to do. Um, growing in love despite changing seasons. When I was Jerusalem. Where I was preaching earlier today at the New Jerusalem Church. I was talking about that uh, verse we read in Joshua. It's one of the passages I love very much. Because in that passage we have Joshua. I love it when men speak about homes. Because very often you find men in a kind of centrifugal direction. Uh, because the home very often is not the center for men. But in that passage, Joshua says. I and my home. Meaning, I and my wife. I and my children. We will serve the Lord. Meaning, we will be subjugated to the Lord. We will follow the guidelines of God. And today we are living in this land of the Canaanites. And it has its own culture. But we, we are people of God. And we are citizens of his kingdom. And if we are citizens of his kingdom, we must live according to his culture. And this is the challenge he's giving to the people. Actually, I want to read, I want to modernize this text for you. Because very often, when we speak about marriage, I've heard pastors preaching culture more than the Bible. And today, many people don't even know they are working according to the traditional culture rather than according to the Bible. Let me give you a few examples. 
Sometimes when I go to this kind of conference or workshop, I hear pastors preaching wrong things. They say wives, you have to look good because if you don't look good, other women who look good and slay queens in the city, they will take your husband. That's not a biblical statement. Because in the Bible, the reason why I don't cheat on my wife it's not because of her beauty it's not because of her makeup it's simply in the country where I come from in the kingdom of Jesus even the, when the wife is sweating and smelling I don't cheat on her. Because it's a principle of the kingdom. The king of that kingdom says it clearly. I hate when you cheat on your wife. I hate when you cheat on your husband. Read Malachi chapter 2. Very clear. So the principles of the kingdom tell me you don't cheat on your wife no matter what the season. And Joshua says I and my family we will serve the Lord. In other words, we will live under the principles of the kingdom. Changing seasons. Another example. Very often you, you hear pastors telling women. And even women telling other women. If you want your husband to love you. Be submissive. If your husband comes home and you see he's in a bad mood, take a bottle of water. Unwe. Ujundike. Numire. <laughs> Have you ever heard that? Have you heard it so many times? I say, what a horrible teaching. <laughs> because in the Bible, it's not the submission of the wife that yields the love of the husband. It's the other way around. The Bible says Husbands Love your wives As Jesus loved the church And gave himself Where is the sacrifice? And finally when you look at verse 33 In that passage in the, 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 the Kinyaranda version says, Husbands, love your wives so that they can respect you. Meaning, what that means is the love of the husband is what causes the wife to respect him. In the Bible, it's not the other way around. I don't love Jesus because he's powerful. I don't love Jesus because he might put me in, uh, in hell. 
mukunda kuko yankunza kampi I love him because he loved me first and he gave his life for so, me So Jesus earned the respect we give him Yesu yakoreye urukundo icyubahiro tumuha So if you want to be a respectable husband Niba rero ushaka kuba umugabo wubashwe iwawe You must work for it Ugomba kubikorera You must deserve it Ugomba kubikorera Uko abagabo bamwe Some husbands <laughs> Some husbands will come and tell you you see I'm the man. You must respect me. Ugomba kunyuba. But are you respectable? I could say uru 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 bahitse. Biraroshye kukubaha. Because according to the Bible, kuko muri Bibiliya we respect Jesus. Tukubaha Yesu. We serve him. We submit to him. Because he loved us first. And he died for us. So where are you dying? Where is your cross? Hello. That's the Bible. Ariko But those gods that our ancestors served beyond the river in the culture of traditional Rwanda in the mumuco w'u Rwanda rwa kera inka zose ni z'umugabo that all the cows all the cattle belongs to the husband amafuti y'umugabo nibwo buryo bwe the man's uh, fault that is his way of doing umugabo ni imfizi timirwa i don't know how you are going to translate that uh, the husband in an unstoppable bull he's, he's an unstoppable bull you know sometimes people don't see they are just serving the gods of the other side of the river kenshi nitumenya yuko turimo turakorera imana zo hakurya yuruzi Then we come to the new normal. We come to kagera rero noneho mu ngo zu. Eh. This ngo zu buzire. Ingo zigezwe hubu mu gihugu cy'abanyakanani cy'abamuri. In the Amorites uh, land. Who Joshua was saying, choose if you are going to follow the traditional culture. Yesu yabwiraga abantu the culture of the people among whom you live. Yabwiraga abantu ngo muhitemo niba mukorera imana zaho twavuye hakurya yuruzi cyangwa izabo turi kumwe nazo ubu ngubu because even the gods of the modern days kuko ni imana zo mu bihe turi mu bu these days people are so funny abantu ubu ngubu rwose baratekeje mugabo arazaga kubwira the husband comes and tells you do you know i have a problem with that woman of mine The husband comes and tells me and says, "You know, pastor, I have a problem with this wife." Sira mu Kinyarwanda. Akambira ngo pastor, ufite ikibazo nuri ya mugore. No, she's not as nice as she used to be. Ntabwo akiri umwana mwiza nkuko yarameze. I say, "How many years have you lived together?" Ntamubaze se mumaranye igihe kingana iki? 10 years. Nyaka 10. Do you know what happens when you live with somebody 10 years? They become so usual. So ordinary. You know, sometimes I get these beautiful ladies coming to my office. For counseling. They say, wow. <laughs> Then she sits. Akichara. Agatangira kurira. Pastor. Pastor. Umugabo wange. My husband. Onchinyu. Cheats on me. Umugabo chinyu mu mugoro sa gutya. And I start wondering if a man can cheat on a woman who looks like this. Awaji ko sa gutya. What does she look like the one he went to? No no, ngazabo na wawundi. And, and then I see the the other woman and I talk to her. Do you see that woman of mine? 
Or I see the man and he tells me, you see, uh, She's no longer as nice as she used to be. But if you knew my concubine, she's so smiling. She's so caring. Oh, you are a stupid man. <laughs> A concubine is not nice. She's in customer care. And she's a saint maker. She's a saint maker. She's a I remember this new song by Bruce Melody. Harindirimboya Bruce Melody. Na funga ma twenty she's around. Gum funga ma so eo a hari. Oh yeah. Take time to listen to that song. Muza yumvi on dirimbo. That boy is a good observer of society. The girl he sings about. When, when you listen to the words when he's starting, I, I will go sing, but sentimental. And then you say, actually, he's talking about a money maker girl. Who, who takes your money? And that's what she does in the song. It says, uh, you should fear a girl who gets drunk from just one bottle, one small bottle of uh, beer. But she takes a lot of shots, huh? alcohol. The small shots of alcohol, she takes many of them. And she works with the waiter. She deals with the waiters. I, so the, she, the, this girl that he sings about deals with the waiters, tells them on the bill, right, that I took about 10 shots, but give me water. And then when he pays, we'll, we'll share the money. And then, <laughs> and you think because you're going out with her, it is you who is uh, dealing, but she's actually that's, dealing that's behind your back. That's the new century we are living in. We are living in the new century who are being eaten like fish. Husbands are out there, but are you going to eat fish? You know, a fish, you catch it when it's looking. You grill it when it's looking. It's still just open. Eye. And you eat it looking at you. <laughs> and you eat it with it wide, wide open eyes. It doesn't close the eyes. Sente maker. And, and you see, then you have the women. No, 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 no. Mama mia. <laughs> Do you know, I'm discovering things. A woman, please, can you need a generation? Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. still, yeah. Nice. I'm learning and discovering so and many this things. Money this money-making generation. You see five women. They go to uh, Rubavu for a picnic. And I ask, why do you not go with your husbands? We are going to relax from them. This land of Amorites that we are in now. That's the modern culture. 
And Joshua says, I and my family. We will go by the Lord's principle. Hallelujah. Amen. So, let, let me now go into some practical, even this was practical, but let me go into changing seasons. From the time of creation, the world has gone through four major seasons. Season one was a time of picking and uh, digging. We are going to If you look at Adam and Eve, they were living on picking and digging roots. Then came the time that, that was season one. We don't know much about it. Then came season two which took a long time. It comes from the time when Adam and Eve committed sin. Up to the 19th century. That's called the agricultural era. That time man lives on agriculture. They live on the land. What characterizes the family during that time? The husband is the strong man. And he owns everything. And he is respected because of his physical strength. But the families were stable. What stabilized the family? The husband and the wife were working together in the same field. So they would go to the field in the morning together. The wife would go before the man to cook. The husband would come following. Then they would eat lunch. Then they would probably take uh, a nap. And sometimes during the nap, some other things happened. Then the man in the afternoon would go visiting other men. Or looking after his cattle if he had any. But the wife always knew where the husband was and the husband knew where the wife was. So that made the family very close. And because they couldn't travel very far, they didn't have cars. No motorcycles. Not even bicycles. They married around the village. And that created families that were intertwined. And when there was a problem, the families would come together. You say, Jimmy. You know Sandra? Ramuzi Sandra. Her aunt is the wife of your uncle. And your sister is married to her cousin. Don't embarrass us. Don't embarrass the family. So that held the families together. Then came the next season. We call industrial era. During the industrial era, men were educated 
women stayed home. That increased the power of the man over the woman. Because not only has the physical power, but he has also the pocket. So the woman becomes dependent and submissive. But that season created many problems. Because men started going away to work. And then when they got there, they started having concubines. But sometimes even the wives who stayed behind would just get somebody to help them. That's good Then in the around the nineteen eighty came the era of the internet. And the television. Do you know television here in Rwanda is a recent phenomenon? Until 1990, oh, I think, or three. There was no television. Which means when television comes, people can see what they've never seen before. Then came the internet. Then came the destroyer. The smartphone. Because now, in this thing I carry in my hand, I have the whole world in my pocket. As long as you can get internet and this thing, the internet is talking to you. You are receiving the world in your hands. And it comes with a culture. A culture of destruction. You see, no, where destruction is You see a husband and a wife sitting home. They don't talk to each other. The wife is talking to somebody in Canada. The husband is chatting with a man in Zimbabwe. Or with a woman. And vice versa. Communication is dead. But what came with that? That's what we call the information season. Women started making noise, and the noise that was made in the US had repercussions in Rwanda. And because we see the pictures, women will raise voices against issues that are not their issues. Mr. President, no. They tell Mr. President, we saw how you handle women in your country. We want you to answer to us. Information era. And the result is sitting here. Women are now as educated as men. And they make as much money, if not even more money, than the husbands. So you bring home your small rabbit. And she brings a buffalo. Then when you start raising your voice. 
And he says, man, you no longer know the season you are in. Put on your face mask and keep quiet. Stay silent. Do you know these days our girl was Do you know that these days the, the husbands are the ones who, who leave the home? But the wife is making some fire. Why? Oh, Gerti, I no longer need you. She tells him, If you want to stay here, we must speak. If you don't speak, hit the road. So you see, this is the era we are living in. Changing seasons. Now let me add another series, then I come to the conclusion. The other changing season has always been there. It's a season that comes even to us, members of the citizens of God. Because when you marry, the wife you marry today is not the same woman you have in three months. Because you get her in your home. That's what we call the marital season. Honeymoon. You are just singing songs. But you start noticing some small things. Because you see, this lady is very beautiful. But uh, I don't know what's in her back. So you may be seeing her and she's wearing a beautiful black dress, but she has an ugly spot, a birthmark on her back. That's physical. But uh, transfer it into character. This man was handsome when you married. He was bringing flowers. He was even singing songs that he borrowed from somebody else. <laughs> And then all of a sudden he goes silent. Then he starts saying, where did the, did the song go? Where did the poems go? Madam. This is life. You know, there is a man who used to sing this song in French. On s'est aimé comme on se quitte. Simplement, sans penser à demain. À demain, tu viens toujours un peu trop vite. Aux adieux. You see, in one of the verses of that song, he says, so you see, there comes a time when l'amour fait place au quotidien. And that's a season. And after that season, 
or during that season cyangwa muri icyo gihe comes a season we call natal season hazaho igihe cyo kubyara cyo kubyara and the woman with a baby is just somebody else umugore ufite uruhinje abarundi muntu and i pity men who are not mature enough angirira impuwe cyangwa mbabarira umugabo ubutakuze mu bitekerezo bihagije there are men i call big boys hari abagabo ngiye njya mvuga ko ari abahungu bakuze banini gusa bakuze agaze urabona uyu mugore he comes and tells me do you see this woman ndataha ntanamenye ko naje i get home she doesn't even recognize that i came home ari tayari hari yarimo konsa umwana she's just seated here breastfeeding her child her child that's that's the good translation go na nuga kimpereza ni cyane she doesn't even give me my tea anymore sometimes i blame those men kanda abo ngabo nibo ngiye ndenganya abo bagabo i scold them ndanabatonganya so i say are you jealous of your baby nambira no let's say wafu hiyo umwana wibyari If you want your wife, he will shake your body. Awe, akuza niri chai. Go in the hold the baby. Now we just end up umufasho munga. Breast feed him if you can. Umuon seni bubi shoboy. Then the wife will prepare your tea. Anyo modamo aje kugu te chiri chai. I hope there is nobody like that here. Nize rekomwe yake na monori muri mungo meze guri. Baby boys, you know. Ni nava na tuwa ba hongo ba ba ibani ni ba kuzi. <laughs> But she's not taking care of me she's taking, looking up to the baby she's looking up the baby because the baby needs the mother more than you do agatonga nango njewe nta kinyitayeho yitaye gusa ku mwana impamva mwitayeho nuko we amukeneye kurenza uko wowe umukeneye so that's a season that comes to all of us nibyo nibihe bidushikaho twese then after the that phase nyuma yicyo gihe comes another phase that is difficult for the big boys na chihazi chindi na cyo kigora cyane abana babahungu bafite mibiri ikuze the noisy toddlers abana noneho bato bo mu bihe by'imyaka 5 years 5 years itatu kugera kuri 5 you come home urataha you put on your tie and your shirt as a papa kandi ubwo kavuye kwivuruguta papa i want you to hold me ababana bawe And sometimes you wonder did she bring the kids with her or you had the kids together wataha kavuye kwiyanduza nama cravate yawe gasa neza ati nterura nterura ukabwira umugore ngo heka babana bawe nkaho yaje abazanya tarabawe you are sitting in front of your tv aba wica imbere ya televiziyo yawe minding very serious business wi uri mu kazi gakomeye cyane witayeho You want to know who is going to win is Barcelona going to win or Uchene yes business kumenye cyemezo kiri hagati ya Barca yatsinze cyangwa hatsinze ndakazi gakomeye Daddy 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 in Akusimu Umwana guhamagara uti genda Ariko mwangwe uyu mwana Take this child away from here Very serious business Nakazi gakomeye That's another season. Jenabya ni ibindi bihe bikomeye. Then the kids grow. Hanyuma abana bagakura. If the man is still around. Niba umugabo agihara tara tayuru. If he has survived. Niba arachite kwicumu kuri ayo macumu yose akaba gihari muri urwo rugo. You know sometimes the men will not come home. Uziko hari giye abagabo badata when the classico is going on. Iyo habaye El Clasico Barcelona kinye na Real. And the toddlers are at home with the mom. Akaba bizi ko abana bari mu rugo na mama wabo. They go somewhere else to watch the mood. Wakaje handi hantu kureba match. Wa moze de ku kudata. Ngo babana baracyari maso. When they ask him why are you not going home like I'm like la wait. Wait. Have you ever heard that? Big boys. Abo na bahungu bafite igikuriro gusa. Not fathers agara aba byeyi nagara aba papa because when they speak about the kids kuki yavuga kubana it's as if it's not his kids abavuga nka hatarabe so he married yarashatse and he remained a big boy ariko akomeza ari umuhungu ariko wagize igikuriro 
And he had these groups of friends. And he comes home at 2 o'clock in the morning. You ask him, where have you been? With my friends. Big boy. <laughs> the day you got married, you leave that bunch of boys. You, are, you no longer belong to the same generation. You don't even have the same responsibility. Even if we have the same age. If they are pulling you out of your home. They are destroying your home, not building it. Look at how many friends you have who belong to that bunch of big boys. By the way, <laughs> Such a big group of people here. Big boys. We can't fail to find at least three big boys. I'm a hundred percent sure. It's not the Holy Spirit telling me this. Ariko, my experience tells me. Ariko, when you have a thirty, forty men. At least you have five big boys. You have a man telling his wife. You are telling his wife, you cannot stop me from going to meet my friends. Just classify him in the big boys club. You know why? At our church where we are uniting a couple in marriage, the oath every man and the woman takes. It speaks about the other sex. For example, if I'm marrying uh, Pastor Jimmy and uh, Sandra, oh, no, Jimmy. I say, Jimmy, Sandra, do you agree that Sandra will be your wedded wife? Uzajumukunda. And you will love her Uzajumukuya kuya. and take care of her Uzajumurinda. and protect her uh, in good health or in sickness. Will you forsake all Sandra other women we and be in with only Sandra all the days of your life? And he says, I will do that. As a matter of fact, actually, I think we need to add that I will forsake all other women and all other men. I tell people that this ring I'm wearing I don't have a ring that I exchanged with a friend of mine. The day you took that ring you no longer belong to yourself. Paul wrote to the Corinthians your body belongs to your wife and her body belongs to you. So, so if your wife tells you, bring me my body, <laughs> you have to respond and say, I'm here, boss. You come running and tell because her, you I'm become here. her possession and she becomes your possession. Amen. That's kingdom principles. <laughs> so your season 
Dirukana wagawa murugo. That uh, takes the men out of their home. Is followed by another dangerous season. Uh, it could it go any time the jihe jikome etane. Bona ben shimuni mwe wagu mukomba kwa mutara jiramu. That maybe many of you haven't preached. And for some of you, may help. Chetoenda bamwe mwa chijazemo. Teenagers. Chaba no ba. Injimbi na wanga. Injimbi na wanga vo. Ha. Those boys and girls. Abo ba kubwa na ba hong. Now they know psychology. Obungu boba menye psychology. Baziko, if you want to go to a party, the, they know that if uh, that you shaka kujamuri fete. Don't talk to the mom. No, give mom. She asks many questions. Mama was the was of Jin. She talk to dad mainly when he's busy on his phone or his. Oh, oh, give daddy. Kandi umuchunge umugire ari hokuri telefoni haringi we nari mara kora. Daddy, uh, one of the kids in our school is having a party. Kaungira daddy, harunga na tukiga na ofite ichirori. Uh, we want to go. Dasha kujai. Oh, how much money do you need? Papa waga itamugira ti ofite mfranganga he, uchene ya mfranganga he. Uh, just two thousand to pick up a moto. Ata hene bibiri kusabja moto. Mujendi. Mfranga go. And there you go. Then Akaji. the mom comes home. Mama Ero Agata. Mother Hen. Mama Ninewawa, Nushaka Kubare. You go crazy, Mumishkuya. I go, Avana, Yoko Naribokuru. And she asks, Where are the children? I can't hear anybody. Um, Adia. Go Harumana, Vigana, go Ufiti, birthday party. And the husband is like, Oh, one of their classmates, I think, had a party. Where do they, does the family live? Whose home did they go to? Where do they go to church? Then it becomes hell. <laughs> 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 what How do you let the children go? You don't even know where they were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it. Some of us have gone through that season. Then it comes the season when they grow up. And they are wanting to get married. Again, that's another season. Then it comes the last season. They are all gone. And you are back to square one. And you are old. Muna kuze mumya. And the cold. Nara na kons. Mukuze muna kons. So, how do you maintain love in all those seasons? Nigu terero muri ibyo bihe byose tuvuze mukomeza mukundana. How do you maintain love in the information era? Nigute mukome muwa kurukundo mu gihe cy'amakuru when everybody is talking to somebody else not through the partner. Igihe muri kumwe buri wese afite undi avugisha handi atavugisha mugenzi we. Go back to the kingdom principles. Musubire ku mahame y'ubwami. Principle number one. Ihame rya mbere. God first. Imana mbere na mbere. Because when God is in the home when God is in the heart of the man and God is in the heart of the woman, it's like a magnet that attracts you towards each other. Because God prevents you from going into sin. And when you obey God, Respect for each other growth. I'm not going to go into the details of this. I will leave you questions. Number two. Obedience to the principles of the kingdom. One of them being Loving each other. Talking to each other. 
and I summarize it in one word. Communication. Actually, what maintains a home together? Through any season. Communication. When you know how to talk. Let me show you how it works. Let's suppose this is the problem. She's not my wife, but I'm just using her as an example. So, here is the problem standing between us. Then, if you have good communication, number one, recognize there is a problem. And you, the husband, being the head, you are the one who takes the initiative. You tell your wife, I see something is going wrong here. I don't see you clearly anymore. Something is hiding your face from me. So let's get it out. And we put it there. What do you see? I see a big candle. And I say it's not a candle. It's a plastic decoration. See, can't you see there is a flame? I said, no, when are you quite no more? See, no, no, no. This thing is not a candle. But as you discuss. You get closer to the problem. And finally you find the two of you were right. Image wise, it looks like a candle. Reality wise, it's a plastic thing. Then you say you were right. You say you two were right. So both of us we are right. So you come together through communication. Don't let any problem stay between you. Talk about it. Discuss it. Turn it around. There is an animal. Uh, so Inka who wrote that story. The animal of two colors. This animal was going down to the valley to fetch water. So on one side it was white. On the other side it was black. Then the people were down here said, have you seen that white animal? Then the other said, how can you be so stupid? The animal is so black that anybody can see it. Then one old man told them, you know that animal is going to come back. So let's watch closely. So the animal came back. But it had changed. <laughs> then the one said, Oh, we are so sorry. You were right. The animal was white. The other says, How long are you going to be stupid? You were right. The animal is black. They started quarreling again. You know why? They didn't get close to the animal. And very often that's what happens in our families. It's not because somebody is walking very far that destroys their home. You get destroyed when you go very far and you, you keep God away and you fall into sin. Because you've been away for a whole month. There are so many problems that have sat 
ikintu haje hagati yanyu haje mibibazo byinshi cyane you need to sit and talk about each of those mukeneye kwicara mukaganira kuri buri kibazo get them out of the way mukabivana mu nzira hagati yanyu and then love it for mukongera mugakundana as simple as that nuko byoroshye rwose communication kuganira and through those edges muri ibyo bihe byose some things become difficult to handle hari ibintu bigenda bigora kubigorana uko mubifata even when you live together niyo mubane third point cyagatatu that you need to talk about and develop ikintu nanone mugomba kuvuga namo kana kuza hagati yanyu because in the kingdom of principles kuko mu mahame y'ubwami bw'Imana the bible says bibiri iravuga ngo we go from glory to glory tuva mu cyuba hiro tujya mu kinzi in every domain of your life muri muri buri hantu hose mu buzima bwawe if you are living together for years niba mumaranye imyaka myinshi mu bana you go from glory to glory muva mu cyuba hiro kimwe mujya mu kinzi in the way you serve god mukuntu mu buryo mukorera imana you encourage each other to stay on board with god mugenda mutera ni nkunga gukomeza no gukura mu bumana you go from glory to glory in your communication mukuganira kwanyu mukava mu cyubahiro mujya mu kinzi i can look at my wife nshobora kureba umugore wanje she knows what i mean akamenye icyo mvuze nta jambo nkoresheje why because we believed together for a long time impamvu nuko tumaranye imyaka myinshi tubana sometimes my wife knows when i sit do like this Adam wanje arabizi kuyo nicaye nkifata gutya it means this husband has zipped it abazi atubu ngubu yakonze nta kindi ari bwongere kuvuga is not talking ha cyari buvuga even when i go to meetings niyo ngiye ahantu mu nama when i'm annoyed by something iyo hari ikintu kindakaje iyo basimi sitting like this nuje bona nicaye nifashe nya banafunze she knows madam wanje rero warabizi because we believed long together uko tumaze imyaka myinshi tubana your communication should go from right to very right mugomba rero no mukuganira kwanyu mukava mukuganira neza mukaganira neza cyane very right to excellent mukava muri neza cyane mukajya muri neza bihebuje and from excellent to excellently excellent mukajya no kuva muri neza bihebuje muri neza bihebuje guhebuza why because you cultivate it kubera ko murabikorera mugenda mu byubaka amen another area i should develop ahandi hano tugomba gutera inkunga cyagukuza maybe i should speak about it looking aside ngende bakuruhande sex eh nibona no yabashakanye you know sometimes this issue we we try to escape it but it's part of the thing you should perfect kenshi tugerageza kubihunga ariko ni kimwe mu bintu tugomba gukora ku buryo tubigira byiza let me tell you this talking of seasons reka ibingi bimbivuge mvuga kubijyanye nibihe because we don't often speak about it uko nti tubivuga kenshi a wife who is breastfeeding umugore wonsa or who is pregnant cyangwa utwite is indifferent to sex ntacyo izo gahunda ziba zimubwiye but once she's over ari ki ibyo bihe birangiye when you go close the business of making children iyo gahunda iyo kubyara ivuye mu nzira when you go close that shop iyo duka ryo kubyara twararifunze then comes the time when sex has to be perfected nibwo rero haba hageze igihe cyuko iyo mibonano mugomba kuyigira myiza cyane between age 35 kuva kuri 35 and 50 kugera kuri 35 that's the time when women really enjoy sex nicyo gihe abagore bakunda sex cyane they know what it means baba bazi kivuze and the husband has to perfect his business umugabo rero abagomba kunoza neza uwo murimo to respond to the demand kugira ngo aha akora kazi kanoze thank you pastor exactly you see you are laughing because people are afraid of talking about it ibi nabantu batinya kubivuga niyo mpamvu turi kubivuga magaseka so akazi kanoze excellent work because you know why kuri twebwe kubagabo for us as men 
Buriya abagabo they are special in that area. Muri 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 yo domaine ba nomwe hariko. Ntabwo bajya babihirwa uko byagenda kose ibyo zizi. Whatever happens things never go bad for them. Whatever you do or don't. As, as long as it happens it does it's fine. Bipfa kuba gusa byabaye uko byagenze wameze neza. Ariko wapashisha test hano. But uh, if we did a test how many women have really gone the distance? And we ask the women, how many marriages they you? That's good. Sure, sure. <laughs> and you ask them, how many of you reached where you were supposed to reach? But very honest. If they really speak the truth, <laughs> they will tell you, you know. You know things happen. Hey. <laughs> They've just accepted accepted the status quo. Step up the business. Kazikanoze. <laughs> Kazikanoze. <laughs> that business is very interesting by the way. Let me dare to talk about it because uh, this is one of the areas we fear to talk about and yet it's very essential. Uh, when we were studying uh, family, when I was doing my master's degree, uh, theology, I was interested to know and explore that area. And I discovered most men don't know how their bodies work. And even women. And most men don't know how the body of the woman works. How are you pretending, how are you going to satisfy a woman whose body you don't know how it works? So start knowing. Do you know the term they use in the Bible? When they talk of sex between Adam and Eve. They say, Adam knew his wife and she conceived. Do you, do you know your wife? Do you know how she reacts the way? So can you predict and you say, when I touch, touch the neck, she behaves like this. When I touch the back, she behaves like this. So you must know. You know, you know the beauty of this. You will discover. I'm speaking as a man talking about a wife. A man, a woman is a land with many. Secrets. Uh, you know some people who, who hunt for treasures we see in the movies. Treasure hunting. Yeah. Do you know sex on Monday doesn't look like sex on Tuesday? But only, but only, but only people who take time to really focus on the business will know. Abantu bafata umwanya wo kubyitondera neza cyane nibo bamenya ko biba bidasa. Niyuzumva niyo mavuze umva abagabo bamwe batabizi akubwira ngo ngo umuntu ahorera umugore umwe. Do you know this woman is not one woman through the She is not the same woman on Monday as she is on Friday. That's why you will hear some men saying, oh, but how can you always be with one woman?
It's a married man talking. You know? So, you know, uh, one time, let me close on this one. Uh, the youth in our church, one asked me a question. They tell us that when you, you women go beyond 50. It becomes a problem for men. No, no. I didn't know. Mine is over 50 and I don't see any problem. But people say this. And I told them those are men who don't know, they are not wise men. Many of us haven't yet maybe reached that space, that time, but uh, learn this before you get there. Remember all the seasons I told you about. When it is a season of uh, harvesting beans, there are beans that are freshly uh, peeled. Uh, cooking them doesn't take as long as uh, cooking dried beans. You are in trouble. So if you want to cook uh, dried beans the same time as the fresh beans, it will be a problem for you. Are you going to do menya? But if you know the season of the beans you have, you have, then you will not have a problem. You have to know the season. So, changing the season, don't kill the joy of marriage. When you develop your knowledge to know the season you are in. But if you don't know the season. If you do things out of season. Then you are in big trouble. Amen. Amen. Two things also you must develop. Finance development and finance management. Again, that's an issue of communication. When you talk to each other, she knows how much you earn. And you know how much she earns. Now And you put your wealth together. You save for tomorrow. You even project the projects you want and how long it's going to take to achieve them. Then money becomes an asset. Amen. 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 Good seasons and bad seasons. People who know how to manage their money will never have bad seasons. Let me, let me request this of all of you seated here. If you're here as a couple and you don't have a savings account uh, for contingency, even if you have, uh, you have billions, always create an a contingency fund somewhere. Many of us don't even have that much money. If you have uh, several cars and several houses, it doesn't mean you're rich. Many Many so, of us just even have bigger bank loans than anything else. Learn 
to keep the contingency accounts but you, you do it when you can communicate better muzigamire ibihe bibiri byabagwira byabaza ho tsabyitwe cyanyu extended family imiryango migari communicate about it and through the seasons know how to handle each one of those mubihe byose mugenda munyura aho twagiye tuvuga mujye muganira ku muryango wanyu mugari mumenye uko mufata sorry na wona nziko ndi gukore hari mental protection nateguye message ndende ari kugo let me stop here uh, we, we took a little longer because of the interpretation that we are going to close uh, so how do we maintain love through the seasons nigute rero dukomeza urukundo rwacu muri ibyo bihe byose tunyuramo changing seasons mu bihe bitandukanye tunyuramo connect with the stabilizer mu 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 cyambere nuko mufatanya nu nukomeza byose Jesus said Yesu yaravuze ngo anybody who listen to my words ngo wumve ijambo ryanjye is like somebody who built his house on a rock akaryitaho ni nkubatse ye kurutare the rain fell imvuriragwa the winds came imiyagiraza the erosion imivura temba they hit the house bikubita yanzu but it didn't fall ariko ntiyagwa so when you are built in jesus iyo wubakiye muri yesu changing seasons come and go ibihe bigenda biguhindukiraho but they don't affect your home ariko ntacyo bitwara urugo rwa number 2 icyakabiri communication muganire communicate muganire about everything and anything muganire ku bintu byose nibiri ngo mwana bitari ngombwa bibareba byose is a subject for communication everything uh, that concerns you nicyo kuganiraho number 3 cyagatatu remember this principle mwibuke iri hame from glory to glory tuva ku mucyubahiro tujya mu kintu from glory to greater glory kuva mu cyubahiro kindi mu kirenzeho from glory to greater glory no mu kirenzeho no mu kirenzeho kurushaho am 65 imyaka 65 my wife is not the same age nago madam wange tungana i'm not going to tell you how old she is sindi bubabwira imyaka ye she is as young as many of you ni muto nkamwe abenshi muri mu that's what people tell me niko abantu bajya bambwira ah but one thing is ari kintu kimwe niki a woman who has been married for 33 years umugore umaranye numugabo imyaka 33 you can guess the range of age she is in murumva nyine imyaka ashobora kuba arimo but even until today no kugeza uyu munsi awanguranira ngo mbyemere you can i cannot I cannot allow to exchange my wife for another one. We're still going from beauty from glory to glory. Uko turava mu bwiza tujya mu bonye. So unguranye wabunshubije inyuma ho imyaka 33 nkaba ngiye gutangira kuri zero. So if you exchanged you would be taking me back 33 years and I'm starting afresh. This uh, I wish this for all of you. From glory to glory muva mu bwiza mujya mu bundi from love to greater love muva mu rukundo rumwe mujya mu ruseho from good sex to excellent sex muva mu mibonano myiza mujya mu myiza bihebuje from small wealth to greater wealth muva mu mitungo mutoya kujya mu mitungo myinshi every domain of your life muri buri 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 gice cy'ubuzima bwanyu mukagenda mu rutaho mu rutaho because we are citizens of the kingdom of god kubera ko turi abanyagihugu bubwami bw'Imana and we have to represent our king very well kandi tugomba guhagararira umwami wacu tukamwerekana neza thank you for your attention murakoze kunyu mushimire cyane rero nanga It's an honor to have such people in the country. Ari amagambo yigeze kuvugaho ijambo yakunze kutwenkarijingaho. There's a word that he encouraged us with uh, several times. Iri mu cyandiswe icyumba hiburayo. It's uh, it's written in Hebrews. Ari tugiye turabanyesha sinshaka kugibagirwa. He told this to us when we were students I can't forget this. Ah uh, icyandiswe 
Kristo utatangira tuba ngo Yesu ko yarari ni kwari ni kazaho iteka ryose The scripture that says Jesus is the same as yesterday today and forever Ariko habanze mirongo ivuga ngo muje mwibuka ababayoboraga kera bakabigisha jambo ry'Imana But the the verses before that say remember those who taught you the word of God before Ngo mite kwiherezo ry'ingeso zabo mwigande kwizera kwawe and it says uh, learn from their walk of faith and and imitate their behavior yangishije ko kwizera atari mu kirere atari cyuka i learned that faith is not just something uh in ko kwizera kugomba kugira cyo bigaragara guhindura because i learned that faith has to to change something visible rero nibyo nabwaga no mugisha kugira abantu buzi ja mu byimana no bwenge bw'imana that's why i say it is an honor to have people anointed and are full of the wisdom of God. I want to ask. I want to ask him and to also ask you. Uh, it, it, it's late and we have Sunday service tomorrow. And there's a, an excellent dinner. And we have to do uh, a few other things that will take us through there that we have to do before we leave here. Kandi murabizi ko biryo habyagenda ntago twamwigeye birurangira. We are supposed to have a Q&A session and you know that might take a lot of time. Kandi mukamuzi ko nabenshi mwaje mwatitse. And uh, you know many of us came late. Ngibyo rende gicyo ashaka kwanza mwisabiye nuko muzi ko buri kwezi ubundi tugira guhura ku cyumweru cy'agatatu. So what I want to request him is that uh, since we meet every third Sunday of the month. Topic kiyumvaga irimo kujya deep deep this uh, this topic was deep you know bagira ngo mwisabire next meeting yacu tumusaba zagaruke ayikomereze we want to ask him to be gracious enough to come again in the next uh, in the next meeting so that we'll ask questions yango yeah, topic ise nkisoza na wa mwanya wibazo uzabeho bashe kuvana yo byose that you uh, speak a little more on it and then we'll also have the q and a session ubwo no busabe we and what we want to request you is that when we come again you come early mubyo twiyemeje muri uyu mwaka birimo n'ukubahiriza n'igihe one of the things we have committed to this year is to keeping is to keep time ubwo from glory to glory it's one way to go from glory to glory. Amara kore hari giye tuzi ko kuba ngo umwuka yayo boye nani stop kandi muzi ko hari ibindi bigomba gukorwa. Christians usually use the excuse that the Holy Spirit led us and we went beyond time and yet we have other things to do. When you give uh, so you, when you value something you also give your time. So kugira ngo twihere iyo ntego y'ubutaka kuzaza kare umwanya yibaza tubihorere kuzakora iki gihe. So we are not going to do the Q&A session now we'll do it that time once we come. Do we all accept? Imana marche ko tugeme. No no ho. Ya bino bibi byingenzi tutari buto. So be hano tudakoze. So the two things that we must absolutely do before we leave here. We need people to uh, choose Groups. We have to do that before we leave here tonight. And another thing is we have to eat that good food. We are not going to leave it here. So we're going to receive our leaders again. They are the leaders of the couple ministry. And they are leaders in this. Let's appreciate them once again. Praise the Lord. And he's requesting that we try and use only five minutes, at most ten minutes. Such that we immediately go and have our dinner. We are requesting Innocent to come. Doreen, on this row. Peace on the third row. 
Bayobozi muhaguruke. Joseph ari hehe ko yihuta guhunza. Joseph an yes, angel please. this row um ushwa no guhagarara inyuma aho. Amanda this row. Yes, yes Emma is right here. So three, five, six, seven, two more. Leja. Yes. Okay, not let me. Doctor, you are not going to go there. Yeah. Okay, not yeah. yours. Not to require you to come on. Um. So, do you have any change of heart? Can you do? So we have nine uh, people standing. Bazamuri biganza bafite the messages. We are requesting them to raise their hands. Those with the the message. The first one is peace. The second is Doreen. The third is Elijah. And the fourth is Amanda. Angel is number five. Joseph number six. The doctor is number seven. Emma is eight. And Innocent is the ninth. 